여러분, 저는 펀픽 PD 카트리나입니다. <웃음> another Thursday, another content targeted to learning or reviewing new grammars, vocabulary, or phrases in Korean language. And yesterday, after several days, yes, that became a month. I was finally able to receive my award from Funpik as a Funpik ambassador, which I will show you later. For this video, this is gonna be another study with me or review with me session, but with a twist. Since we will be doing K-drama script reading, because I miss my contents on this, and this, and this. Where I also share to you my resources on where I get those precious scripts. In line with that, there's also an upcoming event from Fun Pick Philippines where you can win a Korean snack box, which I will also tell you later on. So if you're excited for that, see the chapters below or just keep on watching. It's been a month since I failed to claim this package from the post office. The post office is a bit far from my place. So I only had the time yesterday to finally pick it up. And today, I am finally unboxing it and I can't wait to see how it looks and I'm so excited to display it in my desk. For this award, 계속 열심히 하겠습니다. Reviewing information regularly is so important. As I emphasized before, 10 minutes every day, if done consistently, will help you in the long run. Since when we review, it allows us to transfer new knowledge and skills from short-term to long-term memory, and then finally keep it there. So for the past months, since Funpick Philippines launched last year, we have been posting Korean materials and contents from grammar, vocabulary, reading, and phrases where you can even listen to it and be guided on its pronunciation. And we hope you have been enjoying them so far. In our gratitude of your support, we have prepared an event for all Filipinos out there learning the Korean language where you can win Korean snack box as a prize. And the mechanics guys are super easy. Just like and follow Funpick Philippines page, wait for Funpick Philippines post and answer the review questions. To give you guys a tip as well, you can answer more than one and you'll have a higher chance of winning, although you can win more than once. So from all the Korean review questions, 12 winners will be selected by January 28, 12 p.m. So per question guys, there will be 4 winners. And if you haven't prepared much or you're new to all of these things, then join me and we will try to review them. DJ, let's bring it back to number 2. Currently here at Funpick Philippines page, and for our first grammar lesson is ege. What I like about this is this page is really for Filipinos by Filipinos. So the first one is this. We'll review. 친구에게 생일 선물을 줬어요. 나비가야 ako ng birthday gift sa kaibigan ko. Yan. That's a Filipino version, and in English it means I gave a gift to my friend. So, ege is to, or in Filipino, this could be translated to the sa 
or Kai. So, nagbigay ako ng birthday gift sa kaibigan ko. Nagbigay ako ng birthday gift kay ganito. Yon. My mantra for 2022 is really learning by our native language. So, Fun Pick Philippines helped me with that. Next is... This one is a listening pose, which you can play. Actually, every all of their pose already has a guided audio where you can listen to the pronunciation of a native Korean speaker. And this is a very interactive where you can listen to the pose and uh, comment below your answers. You listen to it. 친구에게 메시지를 보냈어요. So this one is a continuation of the first grammar ege. It said, 친구에게 메시지를 보냈어요. It means, I sent a message to my friend or nagpadala ako ng mensahe sa kaibigan ko. Again, there's the sa. Alright, alright. So for our third, this one is a bit like higher level or I only learned about this in um intermediate level. The grammar is Ryogo. Topical. 준비하려고. Fonpicker 사용해요. I use Fonpic to prepare for topic. Ginagamit ko ang Fonpic para maghanda sa topic. So, Haryogo. Haryogo here means with the intention or in Filipino, it's the para. In this sentence, why are you using Fonpic? Para or with the intention of passing the topic para makapasa sa topic. Right, nice. This is really effective for me, guys. So here, another listening test. I guess this is also a, a review question for the previous grammar lesson. So let's listen to it. Topic 시험을 잘 보려고 펀픽을 사용해요. Topic 시험을 잘 보려고 Fonpick을 사용해요. So you are using Fonpick to get good results in the topic exam. So here is a fundamental or a basic grammar which you will learn, I think, in the beginner level. And I, I think you should not miss it because it's really important. It's the E and G. Example for here is 꽃이 예뻐요. 꽃이 예뻐요. So, E and G are subject marker or uh, in Filipino, it's the pananda sa paksa. Sobrang Filipino. E is used for those that ends with a consonant and ga is used for those ending with a vowel in Korean art. So, it's hangukko ga and not hangukko i. So, another example is Yojum nashiga chuoyo. The weather is cold this day. Malamig ang panahon kamakailan. Wow. And last but not the least is another another post or review question which could expand our vocabulary. Let's listen to it. Hanguk umshigi basisoyo. Yes, as expected. This is a follow-up post on the previous grammar. What do you think is the answer? Dorayan. It's Hanguk umshiki masisoyo. Hanguk umshiki masisoyo. Review questions done. And if you want to make this more in depth, good thing I am in friends with the admin of the Fun Peak Philippines, and I can share with you some review questions, <laughs> exclusive review questions which could guide you in the upcoming event. Let's check it out! Which of the following will fit in the blanks? Hangukko ga jemi momo yoshimi gongbu momo isayo. How the sentence will make sense? What do you think are the answers, guys? Please comment it down below if you already think of the grammar particle that fits in the questions. The fun pick event is really exciting and I hope you follow the mechanics I've mentioned before. And now to give you more examples, I'm sure you're also excited on this part. 
Let's try K-drama script reading. There are actually two ways that I know where you can search K-drama scripts or dialogues. The first one is to search in Naver. It's a search engine in Korea, like the counterpart of Google. And just type in K-drama Depon. Depon is the word for script. To help you as well, you can type in the actual title of the uh, series that you're watching or you would like to find the scripts of. Second one is like a cheat code. This is an amazing site that I found I think a few years ago. The keyword that I've known this is Shine Smile. The actual URL is mymileshinesmile.blogspot.com So it's really just like a collection or an archive of the K-drama scripts available online. They have scripts from A to Z. They also have the recent ones like Run On, Be Melodramatic, 18 Again, My Love from the Star, Reply 1997, 1994, and 1988, guys. Yes. So for this session, let's try reading the script of one of my favorite drama, 18 Again. And see if we'll encounter grammars we've seen in Funpick Philippines page. Action. <laughs> 연기부터 됐고 아니 너 지금 얘기 안 하면 나 오늘 경기 안될 거야 말해봐 말해봐 얼른 다정아 대영아 안돼 어디 말았어야 아는데 아니야 내가 선택한 거야. 울지 마. 내가 내 미래고 우리 아기가 내 미래야. 그러니까 나만 믿어. 울지 마. 괜찮아. So what I like about reading K-drama scripts, aside from it hones your speaking abilities and reading skills, it is also a good resource material in encountering phrases or sentences you might use in actual situation or scenario. So for me, this is really an effective practice and a fun review strategy. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Thursday session of Fun Pick PD. I can't wait for new people to be part of this team. And I hope you made it during the registration period. And hopefully, more contents will be uploaded for us to progress and develop our Korean language skills. And if you want to request contents or just pitch a topic, check out the description and answer the Google Forms where you can suggest anything you want. Once again, it's Cut Style. I hope to see you on my next video. Annyeong!